All right, so I went through this man's channel. Hey, it seemed like he got a lot of people on here. Kevin Garnett. Hey, I heard he's a very interesting personality. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, here. Kevin Hart be saying some crazy out-of-pocket stuff. So, hey, I'm going to watch this one, too. Coming back with season eight. Cold as balls. That's right. I said it, and I know what you're thinking. How many more of these are we going to do? Do hell of them. And get... Get Anthony Edwards on there, man. Get Kawhi. Get yeah. LeBron. Huh? What's up, my big ticket himself? Man, what's up with you? No, I'm saying, gotta get the real deals. We're here, kid. It's a great show. Huh? Go ahead, man. Hang up your robe on the hook. So, I'm, so I know you said coattail, so I bought. Wait a minute. What you doing? What you doing? Yeah, I got a. You know what I'm saying? It's a wetsuit. Wetsuit. For the cold. Let me tell you something. Father Time is undefeated. Okay? Come on, oh, sit on the back yeah. of the tub. Are you sit serious? On, sit on the back Are of the tub. Are you serious? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a legend in the building, Hall of Famer in the building, Kevin Garnett. 2008 NBA champion, 2004 NBA MVP, and a 15-time All-Star. It's in the cup, ladies and gentlemen. KG, god dang. Where do I start, man? Where you want to start? I mean, we got to start off where it started. Where you from? Greenville, South Carolina, south of Greenville. Why basketball? Why to start in basketball? The neighborhood I moved from was more of a rougher neighborhood where we played football, slap boxed, all that. Then I moved to like a more suburb or whatever, and all the guys down here played basketball. So, you know, it's just natural fit. You're Mr. Basketball. You're you're a basketball phenomenon, yeah. right? When did it start to click that, oh, I'm way ahead. After my sophomore year He's in high school, Kevin I started Garnett, seeing colleges getting a lot of attention. I started getting invited to like camps like Nike camp, ABCD camp, which was huge camps. You don't, you don't get bigger than that. Yeah, and these got the best players in the world playing at this, all over the world playing at these camps. I actually moved from South Carolina and uh, graduated and went to school in Chicago. And then I started seeing what was once recreation for me and fun start to turn into like a passion and turn into like, oh snap, this can actually be a career for you. When you heard the transition go from college scouts to NBA scouts, what does that do to you? I didn't believe it at first. I was so I was so wrapped up into figuring Chicago out because Chicago's a lot of games, so mm -hmm. you got to get permission to go certain places. Mm -hmm. So I was one of the rare that got to play on the south side, the north side, east side, high park, west side. And playing different talents like that made me confident and it gave me the belief that, man, if I can do it here, I can do it in organized. If I can do it in organized, man. Let me ask you a quick question. What, is, what does greatness mean to you? Greatness means everything. It's the pinnacle. Yeah. And that's what you chase, mm. at least as an athlete. Mm. You know, I'm chasing people that was in front of me, so cold, better than me. I'm the 2.0 version that's supposed to make the game better. That's what I'm chasing. Mm. Well, let me tell you what greatness means to me. Mm. There's nothing greater than Captain Dry Spray. Mm. I'm talking 24 hours of long lasting freshness. <laughs> <Right> hand, <please. laughs> Nigga loves That's mixing right in that you. promo. Hi, right hand. Captain Dry Spray. 24 7. Use Dove, ladies and gentlemen. Sweat. Use Dove. You don't get better than that. <laughs> Old Spice is just is to me. for musty niggas. Thank you, Old Spice. <laughs> Thank you, White Hand. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that, Kev. Let's get now. Wait, dude. am I tripping? In the last video I watched, he didn't have all these tattoos. How did he get them all removed? You can get tattoos removed? You're, you're an All-American. You're getting drafted out of high school. <laughs> you're going. Does I it thought hurt? Chicago was you're going. going. <laughs> Bless you. I'm in Minnesota now. Okay, yeah. you get to Minnesota, man. Um, I mean, look, immediately, this is life changing. What's, what's, your family's, what's your family's tone and temperature at this point? So I was already in the film of having um, responsibility at an early age. My mom went through a rough patch where, uh, you know, I had to take care of my little sister for a little bit. And in this transition of going to the NBA, she was with me. So, you know, when I got there, I had my younger sister. I had like a little crew with me because I didn't know anybody. I was too young to go to clubs, strip clubs, anything. Anything that the older guys were doing, I couldn't necessarily do. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Kevin McHale let, you know, three couple of my friends just be with me all the time, which helped. We all acclimated to Minnesota, even though it was colder. But for the most part, I got to actually come up here and just focus on basketball. I ain't focus on nothing else. And that was great for me. All right. Uh, Real. Oh, okay. my goodness. Well, you know what? You wouldn't be hot if you didn't have on a god wetsuit. Come on, let's go. <laughs> in the tub. Let's go. Ooh. Let's get in the tub. On the back of the stool we go, baby. We got to get into the world that boy of you sweating in the and cold tub. This is big. What was the conversation 
at that point, like in the locker room between you guys. We became real friends in 11th grade. Mm -hmm. Speed up, I go to the league, right? He goes to Georgia Tech. When we get to draft night, I'm telling Flip, man, we, we, we need to get stuff. So it, it happens. So in my mind, I'm thinking, I would never thought in my wildest dream that I get to play not only with my best friend, but somebody that I like being around. So we're like, man, Minnesota could be our thing that mm -hmm. we build ourselves. This is also where you got your crash course uh, into the world of business yep. that the NBA presented itself Absolutely. to be, right? Yep. His departure from Minnesota, right? Like the things that you think will be forever, at any given time, that can change. Yeah, I thought Steph and I was going to be like forever, forever. When Steph wanted to leave, and then for the reasons he wanted to leave, because he, he didn't like the contract situation, and then, you know, when I hollered at him, he was saying something different and all that. It just made it weird. I forget daddy. that you guys are, you forgot that you're young, man. Max, man. Right? right? Like, you know, you get these grown man problems at such a young age. I ain't no script to follow. Nothing. That moment. That's a low. Yeah, at that time, the lowest. The lowest. When you become a team, man, you really take on each other. You really hold each other down. You really, you know, you're around each other so much that you become family. Now, your attitude towards the business is different. By the way, you book one of the biggest deals in basketball. Thanks. Right? Mm. Holy sh! Look at this guy's contract. Holy sh! KG did it. Everybody calling you. <laughs> hey, hey, boy, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you know who this is. Right. This is Terry. You remember? You remember Uncle Terry? I'm right down the street. Oh, well, you know, remember he talked to me. I used to see you when I you walked out. I came to my one time. <laughs> you you know, man, I got, I'm the one to put the ball in your hand. Yeah, you got a bunch of them. <laughs> All right, now Minnesota. I mean, shit, you're not really getting it done right. the way you want to get it done. When did you say? It's gotta, I need something different. When I lost Steph, I ended up playing with Sam Cassell and Latrell Sprewell. But Sam rekindled my love for basketball and took me from a level of this thinking to this, so much that I won MVP that year. And wow. I was reactivated. And I, I always loved ball, but I was just in another realm with it. And they didn't resign Sam or Spree. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the right ones on the wall. I love that you said, too, you were reactivated. That's such a dope term, man. Yeah. I felt like after winning the MVP, I took on another level of confidence on both sides of the ball. I didn't even just think that I can I can score on you. Mm -hmm. I thought I could turn around and lock you up, too. And that's how I was playing. That's how I was working out. That's how I was playing in the summertime. That's how I was, that's how I was like, just living that. You see was, how he's turning the eyes and everything, get a little, little activated. He get to talking about the game. That's what I thought. Not, not, not you. Let me tell you what I thought of you. But he tell me, like, just now. Yo, this nigga Kevin Garnett is a menace, nigga. Again. That's what I thought. <laughs> not, 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 not you. Let me tell you what I thought of you. But he tell me, like, just now. You the really fucking nightmare on the court. But a, couldn't beat LeBron. The moment, yeah, for a second, second, second. For a second, your hands and shit got crazy. You almost <laughs> called me a bitch just now. I saw it here, Kev, because you don't even know. I thought I could lock you up. I'm like, I ain't playing. Uh, I ain't mean to do that, but you understand <laughs> what I'm saying, right? <laughs> but <laughs> I take on this new confidence, man, and I was just like, man, you know, if, if these guys can do that, and I'm watching how Cove has Shaq, has Glenn Rice, has a supporting cast, and I'm just simply thinking like, okay, I gotta get to a scenario where it's similar to something like that. And Teron Lou and uh, Chauncey, who was real friends, Chauncey Billups, they actually pulled me off to the side during the summer. It was like, bro, it's time for you to get out of there. You gotta leave. Like, if, if you don't leave now, you're not gonna have a chance to be able to do some of the things you're talking about. And then, dog, you should go play with some other players, man. They actually take the, the, the some of this pressure off you. And I had never heard that, Kev. And that's mm. when I started taking. It's similar to the Dame situation, man. Taking the steps to be able to see what my future is going to be like. I'm, I'm up for a contract, and that's when I call Cole. And Cole was in China. He was in China for like a month and a half doing a bunch of a bunch of cold sh sh shit, and he wasn't picking up the line or none of that. And then I had played with Paul Pierce when I was younger in AAU in like one tournament. Mm -hmm. In that little thing, it was like three of us. Ray Allen was one of the guys, so I had played with Ray. Knew his family, he knew me. But Ray comes to uh, Boston with Paul, and I was like, damn, who in the league that I can actually have wings, you know, wings and guards mm -hmm. to play with that's gonna be better than them two? So. Um, I made the decision. I said, I'm going to go to Boston to tell my wife, and then I announced it, and, and the rest is history. The rest wow. is history. Oh, what God. the? I'm sorry. What's this? Oh, these, are my, these are my guys. No, <laughs> don't that. No, Daryl. Daryl, don't do that. He did it a couple times, but they had padding on the. Daryl, but you knock your god hat off. Go over there. Bam, go. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you're coming here looking like two freak <laughs> Chippendales. Come on, man. Got your belt and all undone. Come on. Freak. <laughs>
The funniest shit ever. Now, KJ, I need you to focus. <laughs> Hop in. Get in. Come on. <laughs> Freak. The funniest shit ever. <laughs> now, KJ, I need you to focus. Hop in. Get in, well, man. That's what I was doing. They came out. Here we go. Oh. Ah. Here we go. Okay, we're now in Boston. Are you in there? We're in Boston. You Milo, got... like, blue dye yeah. is in this nigga tub, okay, bro. Man. Here we go. Am I tripping? Oh. Y'all see that? Oh, that's just shorts, bro. I'm thinking like it's some some food coloring or something. Ah, here we go. Ray Allen, you got Paul Pierce. You don't look like Pierce. You got Ray Allen, you got Paul Pierce. You don't look like Paul Here we go. Here we go. Are you there in there? Are you in there? Yep. Almost. We there. You there? Okay. Are you okay? I'm good. Yeah, another piece to this puzzle, right? Yeah. Ray John Rondo. I watched a uh, rare clip of uh, the Celtics playing the Knicks at uh, Madison Square Garden. And really, it's like a two minute riff of his greatness at an early age. He's a rookie this time, but he's doing things that just make you go, oh, wow, you, you, see, you see that? Mm -hmm. I saw his last name, it, it was Rondo. So I said, Danny, man, um, listen, I, I know I know you're talking about throwing a bunch of pieces in here, but you're gonna have to keep the little African kid, man. You know, the little the little the little regime or whatever he's not. He said, African. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, KG, I don't I don't wanna sound crazy, but you know, we got a bunch of Afro-American guys that know the little in the point guard. And he's like, he's not African. <laughs> he's not he's like he's from Kentucky, or he's not African. I'm Rondo name up so bad. Listen, so much that when I met him, I said, man, listen, first question, man, what is your name, man? He said, oh, people call me Ray John, man. I was like, man, I'm sorry, I called you African, man. I, 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 I said, I ain't know where you was from, dad. Rehan Rondo. But him and I had chemistry day one. We were thinking on the same plateau. We're kind of similar, because he's quiet, and I'm quiet with country boys. And little by little, I started to recognize everybody's greatness and what they brought to this team. And I was like, man, I ain't never been on no team like this. No, no, this is a championship contender mm. right now. Like, this is this is real. This is Th now. Yeah, this is like, this This can happen now. now. You guys get it done. Matthew, you get it done. Now you see, well, there's a pattern that it's now creating based off of what you did. It's a copy league. It's a copy league, so people follow suit. They was on some mastermind. So we look up and Brian goes to Miami. And when Brian goes to Miami, the whole league shift. Yeah. And we looked up and yeah, it was over. When you say- When you look up again, now Katie's in fucking Golden State and the NBA just, just, it just took a turn for the worse. It's over, yeah. but when you say, it's time for me to walk away. It's time to start thinking about what? post. Oh, you need to stew? That was in it. Okay? Right, give it the right hand. Oh, wow. I need you to take oh, it. Oh, wow. Give it the right hand. Wow, I'm in this. Hey, Go ahead. Wow. So, at that moment, what what is like... I don't even remember the Celtics winning there. in 08, Michael bro. Jordan I might have to watch. some great jewels when I was young. Say, young fella. You're going to know when you're supposed to leave the game because everything around you, is, you're not going to recognize none of it. And I didn't understand it at the time. And we're in Miami, game seven, and uh, they beat us. And about two minutes to go, I look up, and it hit me. Man, it's over. The wave is over. And that was the, that was the beginning of the end. I know you and Paul are beginning still of close. the end. You and Ray had... That's such a hard term. The beginning of the end. A difficulty at one point, but recently the NBA put together their top 75. And there's a moment um, after. The top 75. Where, it just surprised me. How the hell Kyrie didn't make top 75, bro? Stupid ass NBA niggas, man. A conversation is had. What tapped into the grown man and Kevin Garnett to say, do we keep it as a thing or do we solve the thing? What made the, the Ray situation so prolific with, with us is because the structure we built in Boston, the three of us built that. So... If it was one team that we had an issue with, it was mine. Mm -hmm. I wasn't looking at like better business decision for Ray. Mm -hmm. Ray has a chance to get another ring. I didn't take on none of that. I was in my own feelings. So I was super competitive. Anybody know me? Bro, if you really think about it, the Boston and Miami rivalry has been going on for a minute. It's like that. The passing of Cope and all of us getting older help me understand that life is not given to none of us. Absolutely. It would have with me if, if something would have happened to Ray and I didn't get a chance to amend this. I was competitive when we was competitive. And you know what? I'm glad you're here. It's good to see you. I got off what I was on. Mm -hmm. I, I got off the bullshit. It was actually natural just to see him there in great hell. Mm -hmm. I seen a little Ray. I seen all his family. They were all bigger, older, doing new things. So it was dope to see that. 
and that's what my focus was. I love the fact that you are who you are unapologetically and have been. I did so much listening to you today. And the way that you talk and the manner that you talk in, mm -hmm. people should listen. You mm -hmm. full of information. You know what I'll say? Anything is possible! Oh! <laughs> This is one of the best episodes that we have had. Thank you for having me here. I'm a huge fan of this show. But before we wrap up, if you could just give me a second, just a, a question to the crew. Where I'm, re I'm really confused here, really bothered. And tell me, tell me what these I, are for. I, I think we, I, you didn't hear me wrap up the gun show. I told you I gave you the cue. Y'all didn't hear me get a cue. I said when I give the cue, God let it loose. When I say anything is possible, you're supposed to let it fly. Let what fly? God, God, let it fly. Joe, hit the button. Anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Got anything else to say? No. What a great episode, man. A great episode, man. For real, for real. Oh, that was great, man. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. Yo, watch. Who's that play? Ah! What's going Alrighty, on, Kevin? Yeah, Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah. That's where I get off of this.